Well, this might be kind of late to get this thing out on uh, so people know what the hell's going on. But just called call these people this morning, tell them to vote no on on House Bill 239. It, it's to diminish the teaching of the Constitution. Now, I already I'll leave you a a, a link to this guy's uh, uh, the OCA president. His testimony. This is, but they're doing this, uh, trying to do away with uh, th this testing of the of the kids. This is, uh, they added an amendment that will combine the testing of American government and uh, let's see, added an amendment that will combine the testing of American government and American history. This constitutes a rollback that has been a successful constitutional uh, studies program in the higher class rooms grade 8 to 12 for the past eight years. They started this in 2012. Currently all Ohio school districts are required to teach a half hour credit of American government with an emphasis on the founding documents and a half hour credit of American history. This has been a law since they passed this Senate Bill 165 uh, back in 2012. But with this amendment that was approved yesterday in a primary and secondary education committee would combine the test into one exam. The amendment was quickly rushed through the committee and now they are rushing to build on the floor today for a vote. The Liberal Teachers Union, in other words, when they say union, they're talking communist. Uh, I learned that in the past. They're communist. Uh, we accomplished with SB 65, 165 eight years ago. Is working. Our students are learning the Constitution and our form of government. Let's keep this momentum going. Call your representatives. Yeah, the history and success story of H SB 165, the Founding Fathers of American Document Curriculum, after 12 year effort, along with interested parties from across the state, urged the 129th General Assembly in 2012 to pass what is known as the Founding of American Document Curriculum, which requires a study of the original text of the Declaration of Independence in the Northwest Ordinance, the Constitution of the United States with emphasis on the Bill of Rights in the Ohio Constitution and their historical content. That raised, that raised things from 68% up to 78% in 2016. You've got, I'm telling you, the future, the future of America, the future of Ohio is with the kids. If the kids learn this now, it will stay with them. Okay, I'm going to end this uh, thing and uh, I'll put a link for the, for, the, for, the, for the bill and all that stuff. Uh, thanks for watching.